We all recognize that we must make calculated decisions to drive down our deficit. Uh, but today, we see the cold calculations of the Republican leadership who are cutting hundreds of millions of dollars to help our nation's poorest families heat their homes while continuing the billions in taxpayer subsidies we send to big oil companies. My amendment would fully restore LIHEAP funding and reduce the deficit by repealing these $40 billion in tax breaks for big oil. Oil companies don't need the 100-year-old tax breaks to sell $100 per barrel oil while making $100 billion per year. For millions of families across the country this year, heating bills have been piling up along with the snow, and so have the record number of people who are turning to LIHEAP to help them get through the winter. In my state of Massachusetts alone, LIHEAP is projected to help 250,000 families this winter. But even as the mercury has dropped, House Republicans are now considering dropping this important safety net for millions of low-income families nationwide. The only way this bill is going to help families heat their homes would be if they tossed all 359 pages in the fireplace. It takes a frigid heart for the Republican leadership to continue to defend tax breaks for oil and gas companies while putting heating fuel assistance for America's neediest on ice. But that's exactly what they are doing. The majority spending bill presents us with a false choice. We shouldn't be cutting heating assistance uh, for the poorest families before repealing the $40 billion in tax subsidies to big oil companies, the most profitable companies in the history of the world. The Republicans can continue to make their choices, but the American people will not stand with them when they are faced with giving tax breaks to Exxon or fuel assistance to low-income Americans. They have chosen Exxon. When they are forced to provide, uh, choose between a free lunch for BP or choose a lunch for hungry senior citizens, uh, they make the choice for BP. We should not be balancing the budget on the backs of the poorest families. I urge support for this amendment to protect the neediest amongst us with a no vote on this cold-hearted funding bill.